Hello and welcome back to Rogue Trader. I'm Shadow Coast and welcome to the channel. We are continuing our adventure as a Ministorum Priest. So let's get to it. There's some fighting up here. Um, so I'm assuming we're going to enter combat and kind of help out this group. Let me take a look here. If we open our journal, the officer is under attack by unknown enemies, so Arc Militant Mord has left to clear the way to the elevator leading to the upper decks. Alright, do we go... Here we go. Whoa. Alright, so we are going to need to head over here. So it's not, it's not overly confusing. We only have one option to run by. So we're gonna run down here and I guess engage with the enemy. Nope, we're gonna run over here. here oh there's there's more to be had oh more's here all right we had to go over to the right that melt -a gun is pretty awesome who's this guy Kunar Conrad thank you Providence you are alive and well Always on time, eh, Conrad? The moments we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting sun. You could set your chrono by it. Cooter point leaks away from the arch militant to you. Mort, pull yourself together. The arch militant looks back at you. What did the Lord Captain send you to shivy us up? We are all done here. I'll report right away. Mort pulls his box from his belt and hurriedly reports the situation. Master whispers, what's happening to my ship? The Voxen is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck and my arch militant was destroyed. Destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they and whom they serve? Reports. Kunrad, I have not yet received word from Engineerium regarding any Geller field failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I'm receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only box casts from the lower decks are one-way heretical gibberish. Book of your pauses. That the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests this is that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this was an organized mutiny. All right. Amuni against the Emperor is anointed to execute the traitors. We must provide immediate assistance to those still in the middle decks. Perhaps they might, uh, then we might stop this way from spreading. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure, and I have the means to do both things at once. Her expression changes as her eyes flash ominous, ominously. Ominously? I can't say that word. Theodore looks at Vukvar. Edel Thrad, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on translate transitional deck 18. Blasted. Master Whispers find Edel Thrad immediately. Senate shall locate Slash and sister uh, Slash and the sister of battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arc Militant wa with me. I must go to my study, and it appears that we might encounter heretics along the way. Shadow Coast. Theodore glances at you thoughtfully. But may Lord Captain Wickford's uh, voice is soft and cautious. Transi transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance. If our goal is to bring Ethelrad back, I could use support. After all, I'm not I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies of the house as the esteemed Arc Militant. And taking into consideration Etherad's Psyker uh, powers. Alright. Um, a Lord Captain and our officer are busy uh, crushing the revolt. Um, we're going to stay here and I guess talk to Theodora. Then it's settled Shadow Coast. Find Etherad and return here. In any state, this elevator, she points to the massive doors, leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chambers in the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? In any state, all right. 
All right. I shall do everything in my power. Theodore hisses in fury. Not everything in your power. You will do as I say. I'll have your heads if you fail. Is that clear? Then move out. Mort, come. All right. I don't trust this Coonrad dude. I got a bad feeling about him. What do you guys think? Where are we going? Coonrad, Vokvir. Gives you a nod. Are you ready to head 18? It is a long walk and you do not even have proper gear. I, um, I have a proposition. Since I'm the more important person here, you can go in front and shield me from the potential threats. He, all right, I shall make do. Lead the way. Of course you will. He rummages his pocket for something. Lady Theodora would never have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs, but that is no longer relevant. For the pop and a sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen, and you are consumed by unparable, gut-wrenching pain. I knew it! I knew this guy was no good! I promise you a special destiny, Shadow Coast. It is time to fulfill it. What in... What a jerk. Coonrad, you have no idea what you've just done. But I can guarantee you're going to regret it. I don't know if it's going to be in this playthrough. But at some point in this game, we're coming for you. Careful, careful. Be gentle with our guest. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the warrant chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. What queer looks down at you? You are back with us. I see. Delightful. What is the meaning of this? You have just hit your head harder than I thought. No matter. Very little is required of you. Just your blood, which you can either share of your own volition or I will spill it for you. We are in the anteroom of the Warren Chamber. This void ship's most hollowed vault. There, beyond those gates, lies a relic that gives Theodore all our power. The sacred warrant of trade. Only one obstacle remains in our path. To obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the Senatal. An ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected to do this part myself, but never mind. You offer your blood to the senator. Uh, alright. Let's see. Why are you doing this? Why? Because I'm following an order. That is happening on the ship right now has been in the making for a very long time. All that remains is to obtain what my master sent me for the warrant of trade. Uh, I have... Alright, what is it, inbred? Is your blood too thin for the Sentinel? On the contrary, the warp blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Von Valencius. The Sentinel refused to submit to me, but you can help. After all, isn't that what your family is for? Alright, I have no intention of helping you. That might end our journey. I'm afraid that that you, Shadow Coast, Von Valencius, have no choice in the matter. Book Ver produces a strange object, a blade without a handle that shimmers blue in the light. Predator resists and I will demonstrate the power that the warp holds over mortars. Come to think of it, I might even take some pleasure in doing so. Alright, to the void with you. Willpower, skill checks. Got it. Going forward, the blade flashes in the dim light and, and drops of blood appear on your palm. For a brief moment, you feel nauseous and your head spinning, and then quiet whispers begin to flood your mind. More and more sourceless voices echo each other, drowning out your own thoughts replacing them with a singular urge go to the gate go to the gate fight the voice in your head get out I'm not your puppet willpower succeeded the voices in your head persist in their demands and yet you feel I mean this is we're a minister and priest we're good at resisting this unseen course um, and you feel this unseen course momentarily waver under the strength of your resolve until the intruding influence forces you to your feet and pushes you towards the gates looming in the center of the chamber Wait, I just thought I resisted. Hmm. I'm confused. In the gateway arch, you see a cogitator with a human likeness built in the front panel. As you approach, the torso twitches slightly. This is a servitor, an obedient automaton, created for from an lepidobized human being. The sentinel, sentinel returns its head to you, one of its eyes sockets sliding up with like two ember-like irises. Tech use. Examine the device. We failed. You look at the cogitator, there's a little chance that you'll be able to discern anything about its design. 
Like any other sacred machine in the Imperium, this relic is a specialty of the machine of the cult, of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The servitor at the gate begins to move with a screeching groaning of metal and leans forward close to you. Its lower jaw opens with a draw out shriek much wider than the jaw of a living human could. The servitor's mouth is filled with sharp metallic fangs that glint in the glim light. The vid screen on the right of you lights up, showing strings of mysterious symbols and a green background. A whisper rum runs through your consciousness, insisting, demanding sacrifice. The voice that filled your head after Vokfer wounded you with his blade did not go away. On the contrary, the source coiled itself into a tight knot somewhere in the depths of your mind. Examine the sentinel. Servitor sort of looks noticeably different from the ones that you're used to. Copper thread stitches in its skin. The joints are replaced by metal hinges. It seems that the creators of the sentinel did everything so that the result work would serve much longer than ordinary working automatons. Um, look for anything that can be used as a weapon. You look around in hopes to find something that can be used to work as a weapon. Your search is in vain. Look back. If you forget something, Shadow Coast, I suggest you hurry. All right. Well, that sucks. Ow. The sentinel jaws clamp around your hand, puncturing your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few dark drops fall into the servitor's throat, and immediately you hear humming as the servo motors start up and pump stir into motion. The vid screen of the cogitator flickers. Several long minutes pass. The sentinel's jaws remain closed and are beginning to feel sick. And you begin to feel sick. Perhaps if you were uh, to lean against the gate, you could catch your breath. Maybe even close your eyes and pretend none of this ever... High levels of caustic humors. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You do not understand where this quiet voice is coming from, crackling like static. It is... Is it the sentinel, the cogitator? Is it a figment of your wary mind? Whichever it is, you can clearly hear every word. Yes, I do require assistance. Pain shoots through your head and subsides just as quickly. It would seem the entity coiled in your consciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Boom. Boom. Well, this is... Well, there's still another way. You just... Do a warp jump? Alright. The warrant chambers opens its doors for the dynasty. It's time to make sure the sacred warrant of trade is secure. Alright. Um, that was a pleasant surprise. Is it empty? Let it be known that by his will and by the true words of this document, I appoint this person to be the bearer of the warrant of trade. Be a paragon of humanity, unbroken by adversity, to triumph over the nightmare untold, to hold boldly the reins of fate, to walk steadily the roads of thorns through pain and greatness. Box skill, the servo skill's uh, creaking gradually turns uh, into comprehensible worlds. Escort the child of the house to safety. I need to contact someone, preferably Theodora. Box hack frequency disrupted, initiating setup, establishing connection. Box skill. In place of the mechanical screeching and servo skill projects the voice of Theodore von Valencius. Box master, restore communication to the navigator's sanctum. I'm trying to contract a bridge. If anyone can hear me on this frequency, regroup all available forces and head to the upper decks at once. I repeat, regroup all available forces and... Communication protocols breach. Signal latency assessment unavailable. Unable to establish two way connection. I need a weapon. I'm utterly defenseless. Distance from the current location to the nearest arsenal. Initiating situational calculations. The servo scope goes silent, it relays clicking second after second passes, and you realize that the servo scope will not answer you. Alright. What madness is happening here? Who are you? A temporarily annihilation following acute stress. Mobile unit of the Warrant Sentinel standing by. You are the Warrant Sentinel? Mobile unit of the Warrant Sentinel designed to as a personal escort of the child of the house and the means of communicating with the rogue trader subjects. Mobile unit standing by. Lead me away from here. <laughs> Middle and upper decks, assuming the probability of safe placement in areas of concentration of armed units, calculating to prevent unauthorized units from breaching the warrant chamber, preemptively preemptive sealing must be initiated. The mobile unit will start executing the received order immediately after the safety of the warrant is secured. So, what, is, what does that mean? Does that mean you're going to seal me in here? Because... Uh, we have to go seal the... We'll wait for a little buddy to get out here.
Uyil, um, of Falter. Abelar, Central Abelar was sure has lost some of his former polish. His forehead is sweating and none of his sleeves are coated. And one of his sleeves of his coat is torn and soaked through with blood. Nonetheless, despite his heavy breathing, he stands firm. His gait is demanding, albeit somewhat surprised. Master Shadowcoast, what? Whatever you are doing in the Warren Chamber, how did you? He surveys the carnage around him. His brow furrows, and he places his hand on his weapon. Throw and preserve me. What is the meaning of this? Kuner Vukver is a traitor. When we parted ways on the officer's deck, he stunned me somehow and brought me here. Sinister so eyes widen. What? He intended to take revenge on Theodora for an old grudge and. He spoke about defiling the warrant with some ritual and serving the gods of the warp. Serving the gods of the warp? Kunrad is a heretic. Oh, Vojkver, your void rat. Avalor shake his head. Madness, and this meaning is likewise his doing, no doubt. Vokvir openly admitted that he is the mastermind behind the mutiny. Um, uh, let me see here. Why don't we leave this uh, matters of etiquette for another time? Um, all right, so we're just going to go, you know, confirm it. Grok Seed. Then it, then it is small wonder that the heretics were so well organized. I thought his order to see all passages between decks was an attempt to stop the attackers from shutting down their levels, but now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive now, Master Shadow Coast. Alas, I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Avalor examines you critically. You are in a bad way, Shadow Coast. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. And for the love of the throne now, is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here, you need to do a weapon. Stub, so, uh, sever bobble sword, armored body glove, med kit. Wow, he's carrying a lot of stuff. Um, got it. So, thank you. We're going to open our inventory. Medicaid time for this. kit. Um, oh, that goes out here. My specialty. What? I thought you had I'll decent... Pass. You can't. You can't use it? All right. Armor 15% better than nothing. Plus five dodge. I'll take it. None shall stand uh, in we, my way. We have an old wound. I would like to. I don't have time for this. Use. Absolutely not. Uh, all right. Let me see my journal. Look no further. Oh, here we go. You can equip it. Oh, now he shows up. I didn't see him before. Let me help. Like, no, All right, no. there we go. Abelard nods in satisfaction. That is a noticeable improvement, Shadow Coast. Now you are prepared for the trials ahead. I need better weapons, though. The lower decks are teeming with heretics instigating the rabble to revolt, but this is the least of our problems. The ships and forces are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse, although strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and engineering bay was lost, so apart from the scattered box cast, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it at all. He pauses when he let the light flickers yet again. All these jolts of shaking must be alarming. There are signs that the navigator and the master of helmets are having to put translating the ship out of the warp and into real space. In the worst case, they have already lost control of the process and we are all precious we are all precious few moments left to live. In the best case, if we manage to reach the navigator's sanctum, get a handle on the situation, some aboard this vessel may yet survive. Alright. Lead the way, Seneschal. Come, Shadow Ghost. Let's go. To arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor, fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home, and with all your might, destroy those who have dared. The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox networks are set up for the broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Um, fantastic. Let's get to it. Are these baddies? I bet these are baddies. Ranks. Show them no mercy. Yep. All right. So melee attack, area attack. Um, you can also make an area attack with melee weapons. It will hit uh, in an arc. So, real quick. I will do my duty. Oh man. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. Indeed. I should have moved there then charged. But um Alright. 
That sucked. Uh, we're gonna move. It's annoying that we can't see um, where we move to. So we're gonna do. Is this grants movement equal to the, the ability grants the additional movement equal to for each enemy that is either within a five cell radius piece or is hit by the priest? And, uh. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and, um. Don't miss, please. There we go. Um. We're gonna take a hit here. Or we're gonna dodge. Fantastic. We parry. Man, these guys really suck. Alright, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Ow. Alright, so now. It will be done. Could it happen? Oh no! Did we. That was supposed to be a line! Did it curve? Someone else can do this. I'd rather not. Alright, um, that was a very poor decision. I've suffered worse. Who wants some more? I didn't realize we were gonna slice ourselves. Obviously, but um I thought it was just a yeah, I took care of this one. Victory is imminent. What? Okay. There we go. That's not the Seneschal's job. At your back and call. Reduce the dust. Some of this stuff is a little bit different. Head trauma. I am at your service. Um, we'll upgrade here in a second, but in the interim, we're gonna. This wound. We'll make a fight. Help heal ourselves. Back into the fray. All right. So, wait. I just healed our. I thought I healed ourselves. Weak. There's more bugs in this um, than than I than I than I thought. So we're gonna choose ability here. Move, move, move. All right. So. I did the We're gonna do persuasion. Apply choose skill. Choose ability endure. Yeah, endure uh, all incoming damage is reduced by the fighter's toughness divided by two. And we're gonna do athletics. All right. So let's go ahead and loot. Um, uh, tell me the group loot works. All right. Claim to the stars. We're gonna go ahead and leave and head to the Navigator Sanctum. So we're gonna call this an episode. It's a little shorter. Uh, we had a horrible starting fight here, so we gotta we gotta think about um, how we're gonna kind of design our our um, uh, Minasaurum Priest. I am a little concerned with the the warnings we got before about being a leader and there seems to be some more bugs here than we experienced in the alpha which is surprising um, that or maybe things change and I'm just misunderstanding stuff but hopefully uh, you're finding this playthrough enjoyable if you want to see the Minasaurum Priest please be sure to drop a comment I'm kind of debating on starting another either a naval officer, marksman, 
soldier type of character uh, so we'll see which one kind of is preferred so please be sure to comment and drop thumbs up that's your way of informing me of what content you'd like to watch so thanks for watching and hope to see you in future videos shadow coast out